I'm April and this is Mr. T. For some reason, I have a lot of empty wine bottles just lying around the house. Oh, Mr. T. Cheers. So instead of recycling them, I'm going to turn them into some cute fall themed decorations. Let's get started. The first one we're going to make is a candy corn vase out of an empty wine bottle. The easiest way to remove the labels from the empty wine bottle is to soak them in hot soapy water. This is hot as f After about 10 to 15 minutes, the glue will soften and your labels should peel right off. Kinda. You'll probably still have to scrub a little bit to get the last bits of glue off. Before you spray paint your bottles, wipe them down with rubbing alcohol to remove any excess oils so your paint will stick better. Since we're using spray paint, you want to make sure you're in a well-ventilated area ideally somewhere outside. I cover my balcony with a plastic painter's sheet and do all of my spray painting out there. That way I know I won't get any paint on my walls, furniture, floor, and it makes for easy cleanup. I used a solo cup to hold the bottles while I painted them. First white, then yellow, then orange. Once that was dry, I flipped it right side up and spray painted the top of the bottle white. The cool thing about this project is that the spray paint doesn't have to be exact and it'll still turn out really good. The next decoration we're going to make are pumpkins out of wine corks. To make the pumpkins, all you need to do is dip the corks into some orange paint. If there's a lot of extra paint on your cork, you can just blot a second cork to it to kind of even it out. Now that we've painted both ends of our corks, we're gonna hot glue them into a pumpkin shape. All you need to do is pipe a thin line of hot glue and stick your two corks together. For a medium sized pumpkin, it's gonna go three, four, and then three. To assemble, just add more hot glue and stack one on top of the other. For the large pumpkin, we're going to start with a row of four. The next row will have five, the middle row will have six, the next row will have five, and our top row will have four. The last step is to cut out some leaves out of green felt, and you're going to lay these on top and hot glue them down. For the stem, I took a darker brown cork, cut it in half, and tied some twine to it. And you're just going to glue that right on top of the leaves. I hope you enjoyed these fall themed decorations. Let me know in the comments below how these turned out if you make them at home. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on that bell so you get notified when I have more DIYs coming out like this. Thanks for watching. Bye!